May 11, 2021. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts, but I tell you the truth. It is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin, righteousness, and condemnation. Sin, because they do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I am going to the Father, and you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the rule of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. The sisters and brothers in Christ, we know it's not easy losing someone we love. When someone dies, we can take comfort in the fact that our loved one is with God and that the sufferings of earthly life have ended. Still we often feel lost and very much alone, and we miss that person and long to see the smile or heart, hear the voice, feel the touch of the one who have loved. And when Jesus spoke to his disciples about the fact that he was going to die, they naturally begin to grieve. He did not want to be without him. Part of the good news that he came to share, however, was that we are never alone. We may not be able to see God, but the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit always remain with us. And Jesus assured his disciples and us that Although it was necessary that he return to his Father and advocate, the Holy Spirit would come. When Jesus had spoken early of the advocate, he would send. It was of intercessors, comforter, to teach them everything and to remind them all that Jesus had said. And in today's Gospel, Jesus says that the Advocate will convict the world in regard to sin, righteousness, and condemnation. The Advocate will uncover the truth about the sin of unbelief in the teaching of Jesus, the false righteousness of those who pronounce judgment against Jesus, and the complete condemnation of Satan, the rule of the world, and Prince of Evil. This truth gives us so much hope, not only in our spiritual lives, but in our earthly lives as well. God is with us, whether it is obvious to us or not. He is always looking out for us. He is always in our corner, seeing to our benefit if we suffer something that seems to be set back or a loss, it is often just a preliminary to something even better. We must trust in this and pray to see the goodness of God at work even in our difficult times, our disappointments, or our losses because they are often doorway to the greater joy. May God give us this grace. Full of 
confidence in the risen Christ, we place before the Father our humble needs for all members of the Universal Church. May the Holy Spirit inspire us in bearing witness to Jesus as Paul and Silas did. Let us pray to the Lord. For elected officials, may God bless their work of protecting life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are in prison, may God grant them hope. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, as we continue our journey to Pentecost, may God open our hearts to receive the Holy Spirit more fully. Let us pray to the Lord. For the souls of the faithful departed, may they, through the mercy of God, rest in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. And for Rose, Anthony, and Anne Kalkofer, whom this mess is being offered, and for all our special intentions that remain in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, let our prayers be answered according to your will, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.